Good morning guys, welcome to a new video and welcome to sunny Salt Lake City. For once we finally got the sun breaking through. We've had some bad weather. Uh oh, we got the camera lens. We've had some bad weather and a bunch of snowstorms, but check this out. I'm in downtown Salt Lake City. It's February 16th today and it is Saturday. By far the biggest and busiest day here at the Hunt Expo, but I wanted to take the vlog camera around probably between today and tomorrow maybe and get some footage for you guys just to show you the expo for those of you who couldn't make it but if you guys like to see big mounts a ton of antlers taxidermy work watch this video okay all right guys check this out this is basically coming down to the very end of this hall so this hall is all brand new to the hunt expo this year and the whole big end cap is the big mountain ops screen mountain ops booth hey, what's up Rolls over into the hush booth. Let's take you guys over there. I want to show you some of the taxidermy that the guys did at Monarch Mountain. Um, some of the new stuff that we got this year from the best season yet. Hopefully you guys watched all the episodes. So starting off here with the Idaho Bull. My buddy Mitch Giles made all these pedestals. But look how good this thing turned out. So the team at Monarch Mountain taxidermy been doing a lot of our taxidermy work for the last few years and they absolutely kill it look at some of the detail here Curtis told me that this was just a big old bull one of the bigger capes he's seen I had two options on forms because of the size of his cape he was a pretty scarred up so they tried to work on some of the scars but I actually liked some of that character right there but yeah so that's the Idaho bull and then moving over you got Casey's Wyoming pronghorn they also did that mount some really cool contrast here I love the really dark against the really light cape buck turned out sweet and there's my Utah bull got him on opening day I think that was October 6th got him on opening day the devil's time bull so really cool story um, Colby Stewart, just a young kid, he came over to our booth yesterday and actually had a shed antler off of this bull, we think from two years prior, and it was like an identical match, but man, he's really put on some length since then, but uh, really cool to see the picture, I'll post, I'll post some of those pictures right here on the video, but uh, thanks to Colby, thanks for coming over to the booth, man, appreciate it, that was really cool to see, and then of course the end cap over here is Casey's, uh, the Dirty 30. Colorado buck, VMAX Nevada buck, which is super cool because this double white throat patch. But yeah, the guys at Monarch did a great job there as well. And this is just kind of the corner of our booth right here. I want to show you guys the truck giveaway we're doing with Mountain Ops. This thing turned out sweet. So this is the whole giveaway we're doing with Mountain Ops. I'll give you guys a walk around on this. So Dave and his team is called Power Cult Performance. They do accessories and builds and things like this. Hold on. And they absolutely knocked this out of the park. So 2008 Toyota Tundra. It's got all the bells and whistles. The wrap turned out good. Logan did the wrap. Got the fireball on the outside. Custom interior seats thing is clean you guys can actually enter to win this truck just by shopping at mountainops.com and you have to plug the hush code at the very end it won't give you a discount but by using the hush code is actually what will enter you to win the truck so make sure you go to mountainops.com every order now till the end of April is an entry to win this truck so yeah big huge back seat huge back seat all the goodies then we got the deck system in the back which is cool deck Look at that. So this is all decked out guys. So people here at the show can enter here on the pads or you guys can enter by shopping at Mountain Ops. We have the Fireball. We brought him. Surprisingly, a lot of people every year at the Hunt Expo ask if we're bringing the Fireball. So we had it in Portland. We decided to bring it as well. And uh, of course, my Kansas Whitetail. Really cool buck too. This is probably my favorite view of this thing. From right here. Yeah, that's kind of our booth. Chris is a man in the booth today all day. 
it's gonna be busy guys it's Saturday I wanted to come early to come get some video for you guys so I'm gonna ditch my backpack and we'll walk around a little bit and show you what I can before this sucker starts well before I move on out of our booth I just wanted to give you a, a walk around this sucker I feel like I just burned right past him like it was no big deal so give you a little walk around Nobody's come forward with any sheds off of this sucker. I'd love to see them. I know last year's set was maybe not as big in score, but he had longer third on the right and he was just about as big on the back end. So there's that guy, elbows deep. Elbows deep's kind of the name we're sticking with. Dang, this freaking loons. All right guys, I want to show you this bull. This came off, uh, this came out of southern Utah this last year. They named him Downer. Utah limited entry muzzleloader. So Chris Frampton took this bull, which is the father of my buddy Evan Frampton. And look at that beast. I mean, this video will probably not do this thing justice. It is so massive and heavy. But as a basically a five point frame, a five by six frame, he's over 370. And so much of that score is coming off the time length on the front the fronts and the thirds and the mass because he's really not long on the beams but look at the mass right here like I cannot tell you guys how heavy that dang thing is so this guy's been in the mountain ops booth right here by where uh, Brian call has been doing some podcast um, they're doing the hangout here you guys can come people hang win prizes, do all that kind of stuff. Same thing that we did at our little Mountain Ops hangout event. And then the Mountain Ops booth. This place is crazy. They just dropped the Eva Shockey line. What's up, dude? What's up, so this booth has been packed. Today is gonna be a joke and it looks like you guys broke down your middle console, huh? Yep. It's Needed all... more floor space or what? We just pulled all the product out. Oh, no so... back stock, it's yeah. all out. And look at the booth. These guys really hey, stepped it up. Everybody. <laughs> So yeah, that's kind of the Mountain Ops booth. They're doing samples and taste testers. They have a whole bunch of them this year. And then they'll have all their celebrities hanging out up there and people can wait and take pictures and get in line and hang out with people. So super cool. This is kind of the end cap of the new hall because our booth used to be way down there past the 3100. And this hall being brand new, we're kind of the end cap down here. And um, the place is basically doubled. What's up? Doing? Good, Eric. Nice to meet you, Andrew. Nice to meet you, Andrew. Yeah. All right, guys, we're at the expo with Camden. Let's see your outfit. He's got a little bit of everything on today: the socks, the hush joggers, the fireball. This is a deadhead shirt, and I'll call you every layer, huh? Yeah. yeah you came prepared. That's awesome, man. That's cool. Anything you want to say on the vlog? Um, subscribe to me on Kids and Campbell. <laughs> All right, let's do it, man. Go hit him up, guys. Welcome back to Hunt Expo. We're fast forwarding to Sunday morning. Yesterday I tried to step out of the booth and I thought I came early enough and before you know it, uh, just started ch chatting with a lot of people and doing the whole expo life. So it's Sunday, I'm like two hours early and we're gonna make time to walk around and go check things out. So I'm gonna run over to Joel Pilcher's booth. It's his artwork and his hoof it socks. Just wanna show you the, some of the stuff he's got over there. This is the first year He's had his own booth and I think it turned out great. So I wanted to show you guys what's up over at his booth. Oh, here you go. If you ask me, this booth really will catch your attention. Just cause it looks so good with all his artwork prints that he's done. All the new hoof it sock styles that are available on his website. Some of his best charcoal pieces are here, including that new bison one. And uh, just a really cool booth. Super happy for Joel to get this going. There was one of the Fireball. I wanted to show you guys the Fireball print, but I'm guessing that since he changed it, maybe he had sold out. I don't know. Yeah, there it is. So guys, these are still available on his website. You guys gotta go check them out. All his original art is on there. Same with all the Hoofit socks. So we're gonna leave here and I wanna go show you guys a big bull that they named Charge. Charge is a bull that came by my blind when I hunted Fireball. So if you guys remember, the first time I shot Fireball, I sat in the blind the very next day, and this really wide, long six point came cruising through, chasing off a smar smaller bull, 
and Lynn Shakespeare killed that bull this year, five years later. So I'm gonna go over to the phone scope booth and show you guys that. So this turned out to be a super cool booth this year. The guys at Canvas Cutter brought all the bed rolls and all their new gear. And uh, they were nice enough to let Wes, AKA Ryzen Shed and Ben Shed Crazy sell their swag over here. So they got a whole bunch of merchandise and apparel going on in the booth. Turned out super sweet Canvas Cutter brand. Love the bed rolls, gotta get me one of those things ASAP. Here's some more eye candy for you. Holy cow, look at that beast. Super heavy. Such a cool looking back end on that bull. Look at this giant. Dang. Yeah, I think I saw, I was talking to these guys on, uh, I was talking to these guys on my Instagram page. Check that thing out. That turned out so nice. Look at the fronts on that beast. Holy cow. That is a giant. That's one of the prettiest bulls I've seen in a long time. All right, so this is charge check this out lynn shakespeare look at the art look at the leather work on the back of that turned out really cool 395 i think this was mounted by jeremy at bragg and rights taxidermy let's see yep done by bragg and rights so jeremy did a great job on this mount and this guy has not changed much other than he's just way bigger with that same frame super wide super long main beams and uh he added this this triple brow so this is a super old bull right here it's crazy to see him get killed five years later look at that thing here's the mule deer foundation booth this is right when you walk in the expo a ton of bucks look at that one taken by matt wow 200 Talk about a pretty buck, giant elk. Go through some of this stuff. Taken by Ron Farnsworth, Colorado buck. Thing's got a nice frame, huh? Looks like we got a velvet buck. A couple velvets, and then <clears throat> this is the talk of the expo right now on social media is the new world record. This is the Gordon buck. They are doing a prize giveaway with Black Ovis. Check that out, but yeah, look at this beast. Guys at Monarch Mountain Taxidermy also did the taxidermy work on this, so there's their little logo. But yeah, how about that? There's no way you can come to the expo without checking out the Moss Pack booth. These guys have been doing the end cap and the big trophy display at the main hall, and the end of the main hall. They do it every year. They bring a lot of the big bucks and bulls they've taken over the, over the years, and they bring a lot of the stuff that was taken within the recent year. Uh, by a bunch of their clients. So we'll go do a walkthrough over there at Mossback and check out some of those giants. All right, guys, welcome to the Mossback booth. Let's start over to the left and we'll run you guys through the booth. Good morning, everyone. We are doing sign-ups for the 2020 show at registration. So if you make your way over right now, there are no washings. So this is the world record spider bull. A look at that beast. Of course, most of these, probably if not all these ones on this spinning is uh, replica sets, but doesn't matter. These are all giants. This is one of my favorite bulls ever. This is a big bull taken by Sue Ann Kinney. And then another freak giant. Looks like they got a little bit of an exotic side, maybe New Zealand. Yep, New Zealand stuff. Bunch of Shirus moose. It's always fun to come over here and see if I recognize any of these bulls and see if I have any sheds off any of them. So I gotta keep my, my shed eye on when I'm over here. Dang, look at how heavy that thing is. 
big old bases. So many different bowls and different characteristics and different mainframes. Some are wide, some are narrow, some are inline, some have extras. God, look how heavy that thing is. Always a good time coming over here. Check out some of these mule deer bucks they've got mounted up. That, that's just unbelievable free advertising. Crazy. I mean, that's like the perfect fun. Jeez, look at that thing. Holy smokes. Look at the mass on that. Give you guys a little step back here. Oh, that one's unique. Check this buck out. Don't see that very often. 38 inch wide buck. Back to the bulls, man. This is my favorite. Back to the bulls. Wow, look at that. It is insane how big some of these elk can get. I'm not recognizing any of these bulls. It's funny, almost every year, years ago, when I used to shed hunt a lot of southern Utah, I would always come here and, and see bulls I had sheds off, but I don't think I have any off of these guys. Look at that thing. Sue Ann Kinney, man, she is a big bull slayer. Jeez, look at that. You don't see that very often. That giant bull. All right, guys, so that's the Mossback booth. I thought I'd give you guys a little tour of all the mounts they brought this year. Always a fun attraction. Definitely uh, pulls a lot of people over here. It's always fun to see the stuff these guys take. Check this out. Got me a new whip. Went and stole the new Rambo 1000 from the guys at uh, Badass Outdoor Gear. Got the Rambo and the new 1000. I went and robbed this from Russ at Badass, Badass Outdoor Gear. Cruising the expo on this, man. This I should have had this the whole time. <laughs> Look at this new color they got coming out too on Rambo bikes. Turned out pretty sweet. So yeah, this is what it looks like when you're coming down the expo, the main hall to our booth. We'll do a drive around of our booth for you. This is kind of how it looks. Right here, you got the total archery challenge, shooting arrows. You got the born and raised guys over here. This is their booth. Always repping the American flag. <laughs> Exo Mountain Packs. So guys, this, this booth is way back here, but I promise this is the busiest booth all day, every day over here. <laughs> What's up guys? So this is where the Exo booth is. Like I said, hopefully the, hopefully the layout is pretty similar next year. Dang it! These things have some major issues. What's up guys? Thanks for watching the new vlog. I wanted to hurry and edit that. I'm doing that right now. Wanted to hurry and edit that, put it up, because I know if I didn't do it quick, I'd probably sit on it and then never share it. So, hope you enjoyed a quick tour of the expo. Thank you to everyone who came to the Hush Booth. Appreciate it, man. We had an awesome season both in Portland and in Salt Lake. If you came to say hi, take a picture, buy a product, anything, just wanna say thank you guys, and uh, we hope to see you at the next year's show. Every year they do the Hunt Expo in Salt Lake, and they also do the same show in Portland. I'm pretty sure we're doing Portland, but I always know that we're doing the Hunt Expo in Salt Lake, so please make a plan to come out and visit us if you haven't already, and uh, hit that subscribe button on the channel. Appreciate you guys watching. I have been slacking a little bit on the vlogs, I know, but now that the expo season over, I can finally breathe and you guys can expect a little more content up here again. So I uh, hope you guys had a good weekend. Have a good night. Thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you on the next vlog.